Welcome back to Love Optics. Today we will assemble a basic electric catamaran or boat and research about what buoyancy and density in water are. For the assembly we will need the material shown on screen, namely foam holes, sails, a motor, a wooden deck and mast and more. The first step in our assembly is to attach two crossbars into the foam holes. Secondly, we will attach the deck of the boat on top of the crossbars. Next, we will capsize the boat on land and fix the keel on the bottom of the boat. After this, we will secure the stoppers onto the deck. The next step is to place both the short and long tube onto the deck of the boat. As you can see, the short tube is used for steering the boat. The long tube's purpose will be mentioned later in the video. Subsequently, we will fix the mast and the brace on top of one another to create a stand for the propeller. Batteries can now be safely put into the battery holder with the wires untied and linked to the connector. The battery holder goes under the brace and can be secured using an elastic band. Then, the motor can now be placed onto the mask and connected with the batteries via the connector and battery holder. If you would like to learn more about electricity, check out my video 15 times of energy explained, link in the description. Afterwards, we can assemble the propeller covers and fix them onto the mast. The next step is to attach the propeller itself onto the motor. Now we can secure this structure onto the actual boat. We are nearly done. The next step is to fasten the anchor onto the string and tie it onto the deck. Ultimately, we can place the sail onto the long rod. Finally, I placed an orange paper clip on the side of the boat just for fun. If you liked the video so far, Please subscribe and hit the like button to get notified for more assemblies and tutorials like this. So, 
it's time for the important part, the testing. Most of the time without the sail, the boat would go in a straight line. Sometimes the boat would turn to a different direction and then turn back. I don't actually know why, other than the fact that the sail changes the weight distribution. If you have any speculations, please let me know in the comments. How it works. The battery powered motor is connected to the propeller, which displaces the air, pulling it forward behind itself, like an object displacing a liquid when it is immersed. This creates propulsion, which pulls the boat forward without having to use manual force. Gravity versus buoyancy. Gravity is the force which pulls objects down towards the Earth. Isaac Newton first proposed this theory when he was only 22, while seeing an apple fall down from a tree. On the other hand, buoyancy is the force that pushes an object out of the water. The Greek mathematician and inventor Archimedes discovered this law. If an object that doesn't float, for example a newer egg, is immersed in a liquid, for example water, then it displaces the volume of liquid equal to the object's own mass to the top. If the volume of the displaced liquid is less than the mass of the immersed object, then the object will sink. However, the reason some things float is because of the density of the particles. If the object's density is less dense than the liquid's density, then it will float. This also applies to our boat, in which there is overall less density than the water because of the large amount of air. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned more about how electric catamarans and boats work. Please like, subscribe and share the video to others. Also, remember to check out these videos on screen by tapping on them. See you next time, bye!